Coral. The owner of Ladbrokes Coral has been fined £5.9 million for not protecting vulnerable customers and for failings in its anti-money laundering measures. The Gambling Commission says that over a three-year period, Ladbrokes and Coral failed to put effective safeguards in place to prevent consumers suffering gambling harm. One customer lost £98,000 and had asked the company to stop sending him promotions. Our business presenter Dominic O'Connell explains more. The background to this is that gambling companies are expected to have safeguards in place to look out for unusual movements uh, in customer accounts, to guard against anti money uh, against money laundering, and also to protect custom uh, problem gamblers from doing themselves too much harm. And in the case of the £98,000 customer uh, that, that you talked about uh, earlier on, this person had 460 attempts to deposit money into his account refused by his bank and they still did not contact him to see what was happening and also he asked to, to stop being sent in promotions. In another case, a new customer deposited £140,000 in their account over four months and Labrooks did not get in contact with them to see where this money had come from. So obviously that's the anti-money laundering aspect of it. Labrooks, this, this behaviour that the Gambling Commission is talking about was between 2014 and 2017. They said there were systemic failings at Labrooks Coral. It's since been bought by another company, GVC, and GVC this morning said it regretted these, what it called, historic failings. Put this into the slightly bigger picture. Dom, is this a sign of the Gambling Commission getting tougher with these companies? It, it certainly is, and the Gambling Commission has been at pains to, to, to point out how it is taking a tougher action against these companies because it itself is under some pressure. We've had the, the changes on FOBTs. The Deputy Leader of the Labour Party, Tom Watson, has been pushing quite hard on the Gambling Commission, saying it's not really fit for purpose. He wants a much tougher uh, a watchdog to crack down on gambling companies. And all this, of course, is against the backdrop of gambling moving from being a high street activity, where you had gambling shops, those are closing quite quickly now, to, to offline and offshore. So policing, uh, policing an industry that is now multinational, largely operating uh, offshore through the internet, is it's very difficult. So, so maybe uh, there's a change coming in regulatory with the uh, regulatory powers with the gambling commission as well.